truly. My house there. Yes. That one really the high. Yeah, the Hilton. Wow. I bless you all gays. May God forgive your sins. <laughs> So, so everyone is crazy about Hupo, the person they entertain. Yes. Is she good with you guys? Is she mean? How is she like backstage? <laughs> okay, so the thing that you have to remember is that this is a competition. So she has to be separated from us, no relationship, because then it favorites. Like it's like favoritism, right? Mm -hmm. But on season one, no, uh, not a lot of people know this, but on season one, RuPaul would come to the workroom because it was the workroom and then the stage. Uh -huh. So she would come to the workroom first, say hello to us, and then do her runway. And then we would go. So the, she doesn't do that now, but that was really awesome because it made it a little bit more genuine and personable. But she has always been great to me. I used to work at a store across the street from the um, MAC Cosmetics and she would come and say hi to me while I was working my other job mm -hmm. just to make sure she was saying hello and it's very sweet and every time I see RuPaul like um, on uh, parties and like events she's always so nice to me so my relationship with her even though we are not close or friends or whatever like I respect her and she's always been so kind to me so Is she kind to all the queens? Or uh, I'm telling you my experience <laughs> I couldn't tell you about other people's experience. At least your experience is amazing. Mine is good. Because she's such an icon for all LGBT people all over, yes. you know? And she is like the, the godmother of drag Yeah, queens. she is. She is the queen of drag. And she has helped drag queens be put on the spotlight and become entertainers and become successful and live their lives. And like I said, also, it brings people together, which I think is really incredible. Okay, so let's talk uh, talk again about season one. You came out during uh, 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 a segment of the show about your uh, HIV yes. status, and you openly talked about it. And <laughs> I'm sure it has helped so many people that live with HIV to be more uh, accepting and understanding of it. Why did you choose to come out, and how has it influenced and in you in your career from that moment on? Well, so when I won the Mac Viva Glam Challenge, which helps donate 100% of their proceeds to HIV and AIDS like when I won that challenge it was so close to my heart because I am living with HIV that I got really overwhelmed with emotions and because I was so thankful for them for recognizing the life that I celebrate because that was my theme like it just came out from like my toes to my mouth and it just came out and I broke down and it helped it helped me um, personally because it helped like lift the weight off of my shoulders and it made me free like i didn't have to hide anymore that this is a part of me and people will have to accept the whole me and that is part of the whole me and second it has changed my life because i get to do work with hiv and aids organizations and help people that are also hiv positive like myself who may not have the resources the privilege or the platform um and lastly i get messages from people all over the world saying that I have inspired them but little do they know that their messages to me inspire me all the time because I get so many people that thank me but at the same time like I want to thank them for opening up to me and being comfortable and and I'm just I really just I was it was just like real I said celebrate your life because your life is a celebration and that's really what it is if a young drag queen wants to go... Don't do this, it! Well, <laughs> not just kidding. the question. <laughs> yes, if a young drag queen... Yeah, but like, what, what would you say to a young drag queen wanting to become, you know, a professional drag queen? I think it's all about your confidence in yourself. I know it sounds cliche, but you can't be successful if there are doubts in your art, art form. And know that you're never gonna go from zero to a hundred overnight. You have to put in the work, you have to put in the time, you have to put in the energy, and you have to love it. Like, I love my job. You have to love it and believe in it, because otherwise, you'll fail. And, there's, and it's okay to fail. So maybe fail multiple times and do it again and do it again. If this is your dream, go for it, but it's hard. And you have to put the time and the work.
Chago's okay. cousin is here <laughs> to come say hello. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, so let me ask you uh, about the parties in Brazil, the yes. energy, ah. the, the people. What, what's the difference between uh, all the parties you do in the US and the parties in Brazil? It's so hard to put into words what I was feeling when I went to Sao Paulo for the first time and uh -huh. Rio for the first time. I also went to Porto Alegre, but I've been there before. And the energy, I was trying to explain it to my other friends in LA, the energy is quite different. I can't really put into words but it's like it's so massive that you feel it it's like it it like bounces off of you mm -hmm. and it bounces back right and their love for queens whether RuPaul or local or you know national they love drag and I loved every single minute of my experience it was incredible and the best part is I went and I went, I was a pink flamingo with you, obviously, on Saturday. And I went to the bar to go get a drink. And on the way back to the stage when I was performing, I had to crowd surf <laughs> so that I would get back to stage. Uh, we talked about Hupo, she's always been nice to you. What about your relationship with the other queens from Hupo Drag Race? I have a lot of friends actually from Drag Race. Like Morgan McMichaels is one of my friends and uh, She's an idiot and I love her. <laughs> and you know, a lot of the like, local queens in Los Angeles like Delta Work, Kimora Black, Pandora Box, Jessica Wilde, April Carillon, Mariah Balenciaga, May Mayhem Miller. Those are like all my good friends. And uh, I'm friends with Willem. Detox is one of my really dear friends and she's also an idiot. And, uh, but I, I, I have only really good experiences. I mean, there's only like two queens I don't like, but I'm not gonna tell you who they are. You're gonna have to uh, send me some money on pics. <laughs> <laughs> now you know pics. <laughs> yes, now I know pics. <laughs> 14 seasons of Hupo Drag Race. And yes. We still haven't had a Brazilian queen on the <gasps> show. Why do you think that's happening? Are you gonna help us have a Brazilian queen there? Put in a good word. <laughs> yes. Whatever. Listen. The thing. The thing is, is like, I have been to Brazil and Sao Paulo Rio only one time, but I've been to another city, Porto Alegre, a few times. And drag transcends beyond location. Mm -hmm. Drag is an art, it's, a, it's an art form, it's amazing. And I have seen so many good drag here that could really do well in the show. I've also seen some bad ones, so I'm just kidding. <laughs> and we, need, we should have Anita as a judge on RuPaul's Drag Race or Pablo, but I don't know if RuPaul is going to share the okay. stage with Pablo. There, there has been a, 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 something that we uh, Brazilians think that there is a feud that like uh, RuPaul doesn't like Pablo because she's become more popular on social media. Oh, really? Is this drama? Yes. This is the tea? Look, um, Pablo is, more, is the, the, mo, the more followed drag queen in the world. Is she? Media. Wow, okay. At some point, uh, Hupo didn't follow Pablo and never invited Pablo for the show. Mm -hmm. And then people are saying that uh, Rupo doesn't like Pablo. But then at some point, Hupo tweeted saying, Oh my God, stop the Oh, team. I saw this. I love I saw Pablo. this. I love drama on Twitter. It's but the we best. don't know if that was actually Hupo or her, or her team. I think, it's, I think it's her. Because uh -huh. have you seen her posts? <laughs> they, they're, they're like a pose of an of an old man like me. I'm an old man. <laughs> There's no rhyme or reason, but no. Um, I think that I think that I don't know what I think. I think maybe just there's never been a drag queen guest host in all of seasons of Drag Race. Uh huh. Like not even Lady Bunny, and Lady Bunny's her best friend. She's been a guest, mm -hmm. but she's never been a judge. So I think RuPaul's the main. And then she has her little, like, other people, but no drag. Uh -huh. And you know what? I think they, they should do it because in Spain, they had Alexis Mateo. Mm -hmm. uh, and in Canada, they're having Jimbo and Vanessa Vanji. And Envy Peru from Holland, the winner, I believe, was also a guest judge in Spain. So I think maybe that will open up her inviting drag queens to be judged on the show. How do you American uh, queens see our drag uh, singer scene? Because our two main uh, drag queen singers, Pablo Vitar and yes. Gloria Groove, 
they've become so huge internationally internationally also not only here because they're like uh, a regular pop star yeah yeah they're, they're pop they, stars it's not just lgbt it's like for everyone yeah and in the us i don't know if like the drag singers are a household name uh, at the moment yes they are there's a lot of them that are household name i mean i may not be as famous as trixie mattel or uh -huh. alaska or willem but i feel like some of us that stay in the scene are pretty household names in a lot of places and like there's so many great artists you know like Ador Delano, Lolam like I said and other drag singers that do so well and yes. like Jinx Monsoon who's on the current season who's doing so well like I think some of our names are household names mm -hmm. but maybe there's just a difference in like the reach of Pablo and Gloria versus the reach of like the u.s drag queens mm -hmm. and they're singing in portuguese yes and they're making like two other countries that yes. don't speak portuguese which is amazing for us it's amazing it's, it's always english it's you know or spanish yes never portuguese yeah. we can do it with these heads <laughs> with guillermo google oh, oh. yelmo Macaroni. Olha Brasil com quem eu tô. Olha Brasil. Hi, I'm China. Seja bem-vindo ao Brasil, viu? Ah, Brasil é bom. Muito grato. We haven't had a queen in Hoopo's Drag Race, uh -huh. but we've had a winner queen in one of uh, Hoopo's realities because Queen of the Universe is also Oh my God, yes. By Hoopo's and uh, I, production ooh, company. Yes. And we've had Drag Queen and she won. How yes. is your relationship with her? I know you guys know each other. We do, only because I stalk her on social media because I love her so much. I'm like a big fan. Uh -huh. And and I met her in Los Angeles at DragCon and she is so sweet. But beyond that, she's so talented. So I when I was watching the competition, I really wanted her to win and I was so happy that she did and her songs are so catchy and fun to dance to and uh and she's really nice and uh yeah she's i love drag queen so much i love you i love drag queen also um we've had the opportunity to work together sometimes and uh, i saw her once saying uh she is uh someone that's inspiring uh others and herself yes to, that you can still do it yes you have so many famous drag queens right yes and you think like ah oh, there's not gonna be another one and may and she's like on the path of being the next yes super internet she is already she is but i yeah. mean she's getting so big and then she's uh like you can do it you cannot give, if you don't give up you go ahead and you can do it yeah i think this goes back to like when you ask me when there's a younger generation wanting to do the art of drag like uh -huh. go for your dreams like she comes from a small town with a small family and she just won one of the biggest competition prizes in all of the world and now she's going for her dream she's touring america she's gonna tour uk she's all over brazil like she's gonna be all over the world and that is the dream that she wanted and she went for it and so go for it. Okay, Ongina, we want to super thank you for uh, having the best time with us here at Fino TV and with all the parties that you uh, were with us. So, thank you. Oh no, I want to say thank you to Tiago, Pink Flamingo, Treta Festa, everybody in Sao Paulo, Rio, and my friends in Porto Alegre and all of Brazil for the live. Uh, Moito obrigado, pasivas. <laughs>